Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Working with Arrays, and this is going to be part one in the Operators and Methods unit. So a quick refresher, the array object is used to store an ordered list of multiple values in a single variable. Now, why is it an object? Just one of those JavaScript things. It actually has to do with the, you would call it like the history of JavaScript. The original version of JavaScript didn't actually have arrays. And if you look up what an array is in most programming languages, this is not going to be an identical copy of that idea, which is to say we're not dealing with contiguous blocks of memory, mostly because we're not really dealing with memory directly anyway. You do want to keep in mind that an array, while being an object, is wholly different than an object, as we've discussed, like an object literal with keys and values and properties. Um, there are some similarities, but for the most part, we can separate those in our mind. Um, the values of an array can be any type, so booleans, numbers, strings. It can also be arrays and objects, but we're not going to get to either uh, the values of an array being an object or an array until we talk about nested structures. And the fun part about arrays is that this can be where we start to actually visualize what might be occurring or why we would use programming. Up until this point with strings and numbers and booleans, uh, there's not really a lot of flexibility, or we shouldn't say flexibility, more like there's not really a lot of context for why we would do this. A um, little bit, but not a ton. Once we get to arrays, it can be a little bit easier to understand why we would want an ordered list of something and why we would want to affect that ordered list. So let's talk about creating an array. To create an array, you just assign a variable to a set of square brackets, either with elements inside of it or not. So here's three versions. We've got our REPLit over here. I've already gone into the settings and changed the theme to dark and the code dis, uh, intelligence to disabled. I'm going to paste in these arrays and just log them to the console. So this is how we would create them. This is one with strings. They don't necessarily have to be all of the same type as we'll see in a little bit, but this is just three examples. So we have a challenge. We're going to complete a function that takes no parameters and returns a newly created array. Your function should create a variable and assign it to a new array, then return that variable. Below is an example of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, create array. Always nice to start off these challenges with a nice simple one, but we're going to follow the same. <coughs> excuse me. We're going to follow the same pattern that we've been following in previous examples, which is to say, first we're going to copy our stub, then we're going to copy our test case. <coughs> excuse me. Um, and then we're going to uh, run the code after we complete our function. If the test case passes, then we know we have it at least somewhat correct. Um, also, for those of you following the We Are In Good Shape saga, instead of synonyms for good and shape, we're going to go with synonyms for the idiom, which is to say the colloquial metaphor of uh, we are in good shape. Um, so we'll be saying things at the end of the tests that are kind of like we're in good shape, but not necessarily like direct translations. Um, more on that later. Anyway, create a result variable. And this one is um, one of those... Uh, questions where we're doing more than we need to, but again, we're getting used to a pattern. So following the pattern, especially if you're a beginner, can be very useful. Result is equal to an empty array, and we'll put an element or two in there, and then return the result. Now you'll see that the test for this, the automated test, is very similar to this. It's really just going to check to see that your function is returning an array. So provided that you do that, you're going to get the question correct. This is looking good. Let's go ahead and paste it in the input window run the tests, and we have reached our cruising altitude. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.